Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Fru Goward heads list of liberals anointed for appeals tribunal gig by Stephen Brooke and Angus Thompson April 5, 2022, 5.00m save login, register or subscribe to save articles for later. Share normal text size larger text size very large text size nothing foreshadows a federal election like a stampede of friendly appointments by a government getting its house in order in the dying days of its parliamentary term, just in case it doesn't crawl back into power come polling day. Michaelia Cash and Prue Goward credit, John Shakespeare simply put, the cavalcade of names, more than 120 in the past fortnight, looks nothing less than a Liberal Party Christmas card list. And on Monday we were handed a most excellent example of this practice of patronage and privilege by Attorney General Michaelia Cash's latest appointments to the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, which independently reviews government decisions. Most notable, was the appointment of former NSW Coalition Minister Prue Goward. Goward and husband David Barnett are close friends with Jeanette and John Howard, and Barnett even wrote a biography of PM25. Goward gained notoriety last October for an opinion piece in the Australian Financial Review in which she described Australia's underprivileged as proles. Her appointment as AAT senior member, according to remuneration listings from 2019, will earn her up to $391,000 a year. Tasty. On a vastly fatter pay packet as AAT deputy president is former West Australia Liberal MLC Michael Mission who served as Attorney General under former Premier Colin Barnett. Mission remained a state MP until, guess what, he was turfed during last year's state election. Another newly appointed senior member is Anne Duffield, who previously served as Chief of Staff to, yep, Scott Morrison and Liberal Party elder Philip Ruddock. New appointees as members, who can earn a lowly sum of up to $249,000 a year, include former press gallery journo Cheryl Cartwright who was once staffer to Alexander Downer, Kate Chappell, who has worked for Federal Ministers Marise Payne and Linda Reynolds, and Peter Katsambanis, the state Liberal MP who lost his seat of Hillary's in the West Australian election last year. We're sure this group is up to the task, but are you sensing a pattern here readers? There's more but that's not all. Dennis Dragovic an international relations expert and failed candidate for the safe Liberal federal seat of Goldstein is already an administrative appeals tribunal member. He has been promoted, as has Don Morris, a Liberal lifer and former advisor to one-time Premier Ted Baillieu and Senator Eric Abetz. They both become deputy presidents on a salary reputed to be $496,000. Donna Petrovic, a former Victorian state Liberal MP, failed to get into federal parliament in 2013 and the next year failed to attain a seat in Victoria's lower house. She had her term extended. The tribunal was once slammed by a shadow Attorney General Mark Dreyfus who accused the government of treating it like a Liberal Party employment agency. Dreyfus has vowed to end political appointments. Looks like even if it gets into power, Labor will have to wait a little bit longer to realize that ambition. The Administrative Appeals Tribunal can pay senior full-time members north of $330,000, even if they are lacking in legal qualifications. Former High Court Judge Ian Cullinan was so displeased with the AAT in his review that he identified 37 areas for potential reform and urged future appointments be lawyers and made on the basis of merit. We'd expect nothing less, Your Honor. Finally, probably not, adding to the tsunami of new appointments or reappointments by multiple ministries over the past fortnight, former NSW Aboriginal Affairs and Arts Minister Don Howen has been elevated to the board of the Australia Council. Howen, an ally of former NSW Premier Gladys Berejiklian left state politics during the transition of her successor, Dominic Perrottet. His last few years in government were rocky, after he was temporarily dumped from the ministry for relocating to his Pearl Beach home during lockdown. Monday feast to the Sofitel Hotel on Collins Street for the 16th annual State Parliament after dinner. State Parliament stages the meal, when Muslims end their daily Ramadan fast at sunset to provide engagement with the Victorian Muslim community. 
The event was co-hosted by Minister for Multicultural Affairs Ross Spence, Shadow Minister for Multicultural Affairs Craig Ondaki and Ahmet Keskin, Executive Director of the Australian Intercultural Society. Melbourne Imam LOLZOKM led the call to prayer and keynote speaker was Marcia Langton, the Foundation Chair of Australian Indigenous Studies at the University of Melbourne. But alas, the spoken word performance had to be cancelled, the poet was sick. Among the 200-odd guests were a slew of state and federal MPs whom CBD saw.